Hello, you're welcome to Digital Stream Tutorial. My name is Kristen, and this is a complete PHP course tutorial for absolute beginners, from beginners to pro. Actually, uh, I know you guys must have uh, uh, gotten fed up of getting boring courses online where there is no real life practical. So, what we are actually going to be doing at the end of our complete PHP course, we are going to be building this very project. This is a, lo a sign up and login system where after a user finished signing up he can actually log in from here and as soon as he logs in he will then will be redirected to a page where he can actually upload his post so i'm just going to be testing this out so you can see how it works so let me sign up a user by a uh, name uh user is the first name and then admin is the second name and then i want to choose an email from my list of emails here i could just use this then I want to choose a password that says uh, admin1 admin1 is the password is the username admin1 and then the password I just want to say test123 because I want to be able to remember this then I submit while uh, 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 okay no I don't want to save this password that's for my antivirus okay so as you can see up here you see uh, my URL is actually displaying sign up successful so meaning admin 1 is actually signed up so we cannot log him in so admin 1 is our username and then our password is test 1 2 3 so let me log in this alright so as you can see, uh, I am successfully logged in. Then I've been actually redirected to my about.php page, uh, and you can see login successful. So what I can actually do here is to upload uh, my post with my image. As soon as I click on the publish button, my post appears at the right hand of this column. So let me just get, go ahead with this. Uh, okay, so this is my first title. And then I also want to say uh, this is my first post description. So let me just align this copy and paste so that we can have lots of uh, post article in this box. And then I also want to choose an image. Uh, let me head down to uh, I have some images in my folder here yeah? okay so I want to say advert design uh, tutorials so let me just make use of this image open and then publish cool so as you can see this is my first title this is the description and then this is the image as you can see here we also have delete article meaning you can actually delete this article so you can also add as many articles as you want this is my second title and also and also this is my second description alright so let me just highlight this copy just repeat what we did in the first step and then choose uh, an image I just want to make use of this open and then click on publish so as you can see our second article is being published so we are actually going to be building this at the end of our complete PHP course so I just want to show you this to encourage you to stick uh, to the tutorial is actually going to be very beneficial since we are we be building some projects to enable us uh, a, a get mastery of PHP on time so uh, right say if I click on this delete articles I'm actually deleting one of this article then if I also want to delete the second one I can also delete the second one so uh, I can also log out with by clicking on this button and then I'll be redirected back to my home page with a logout successful uh, uh, URL up here so uh, to actually get started we would actually need uh, some some softwares to actually run our localhost server and then our test editor in order for us to kick started on our PHP course so 
uh, what you would actually want to do is to head to Google. Uh, let's see. Google.com just to download our ZAMP server. Already I have my sub, I have my uh, installations, everything is actually ready. So I'm just doing this for those of you who have uh, who are absolute beginners on uh, PHP. So let's uh, type ZAM download. So I have ZAM download popped up here. All right. So you will actually want to go for the first one over here, which is the download ZAM uh, Apache Friends. So uh, just click on it. Okay, so uh, this actually have uh, downloads for different uh, operating systems. So this is actually for Windows users. Just ensure you download anyone uh, that matches your operating system. And this also for ZAMP, uh, for Linux, and then for OS. So you can actually download any of these uh, you actually uh, based on your operating system. And as soon as you get this downloaded, just install it. And uh, as soon as you are done installing, you'll be presented with a folder. I wish, wish I was exactly one, which I want to show you right now in my uh, excuse me. So I'll just head over to my C pan uh, to my local disk, and then as you can see, th after the installation, I'll be presented with this ZAMP folder. Open it. So inside the ZAMP folder in our HT docs. The HT dog is actually going to be serving as our root directory where all our uh, 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 tutorials will be saved. So everything we are going to be done, we are going to be doing, will be saved in this root directory called HT dogs up here. So ensure you get this installed, and then you also want to install a a, a text editor. I'm currently using a. Uh, NetBean IDE, so you can actually go to uh, same Google, same process, and then get this downloaded at. Uh, so let's head over to Google.com, Google.com, and then uh, let's go there and then search for NetBean IDE. So it everything boils down to uh, the uh, the text editor you're currently using. If you've been programming for some time, it means. You already have a text editor of your choice, but for me, I prefer using uh, NetBean ID. Uh, don't ask me why, cause I don't even know why. I just prefer using it. So uh, NetBean, so NetBean download. So you have the NetBean ID up here. Just click on it and then check it out. Uh, if you prefer using this uh, better, I also prefer using this too. So you can get it downloaded and then uh, open it to start up your project. Okay, so already I have this installed. So all you just need to do is to go through uh, the download process. So you have to look, uh, take a look at it very carefully because uh, they have a uh, different version. They have for Java, they have for Java EE, HTML, and JavaScript and also have for PHP so we actually run in PHP code so you will actually want to download PHP either 32 bits or 64 bits and then they also have for all so you can also download this if that is exactly what you want to be doing so uh, everything boils down to you yourself so having done this uh, in our next tutorial we're going to be talking about uh, the PHP syntax we're going to be introducing you to PHP and then the PHP syntax so ensure you get this environment set up properly then in our next tutorial, uh, we are going to actually continue from here. Also, before we actually end this tutorial, I want to show you how, because I might not really be doing this in our next tutorial. So, uh, as soon as you if you are done installing your ZAMP server, you want to ensure the Apache and MySQL uh, is actually running. Because if it's running, you are going to be having this green, uh, light green uh, background color to indicate that it's actually running. So ensure that this is actually running before we actually go into the next uh, tutorial and uh, the next episode of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this uh, tutorial. Uh, please ensure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, and also, I'm creating a, a programmer's forum 
on Facebook a page that uh, what we actually the plan is actually to get uh, uh, experienced programmers into that page uh, to like that very page so that if you have any challenge any problem you want to you want uh, answers from experienced uh, programmers you could actually ask questions in the page and that page and the uh, and the answer will be given will be replied immediately on that same page so ensure you subscribe to my youtube channel and also like my facebook page which I will also leave uh, the link below this uh, my description. Thank you very much for for uh, sticking still on this tutorial. See you in the next uh, tutorial.